Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Teague in Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm your trusted Toyota resource because I do how-to videos, review videos, and new updates. We're looking at a 2020 Highlander. This is a limited all-wheel drive, but that's not why we're here. We're talking about the upcoming 2021 Toyota Highlander XSE. My job is to let you know, inform you on what we know about this XSE so far. This is the first time in Highlander's 20 year history that it's been branded with the XSE badge. And of course this fourth generation model was all new redesigned for 2020 with the Toyota new global architecture platform to have new engineering, new styling, new ride comfort and new quietness. So built on that, we're gonna get that sport agile handling and suspension and look. Highlander XSE is going to be available in both front wheel drive and all wheel drive. Now the all wheel drive, this is gonna be similar to the limited all wheel drive. This is one reason I brought it. It's gonna have dynamic torque vectoring. And what that means is, in addition to traditional all wheel drive systems, the car can send up to 50% of its available torque to the rear wheels. And then from that point, it can distribute it to the right to the left, to the left, to the right. It's gonna send it to each wheel that needs it most based on wheel slippage and traction. The all-wheel drive will also feature multi-terrain select, which I assume is going to look similar to this control knob here where you can select different terrain that you're going over, mud and sand, rock and dirt. You can select a snow mode. I suspect it's also gonna have the downhill assist control as well. You guys ready to channel your inner Scotty Kilmer? Because rev up your Highlanders. The Highlander is going to use the same powertrain combination that you see in this Highlander Limited all-wheel drive. It'll have the 3.5 liter V6 engine, 295 horsepower, 263 foot-pounds of torque. That's matched with an eight-speed automatic transmission. But this is where the similarities end because XSE is built for intense handling, intense agility and steering control. You'll find on this new Highlander exclusive 20 inch wheels with black accent. And then also for handling, you're gonna see, this is going to be equipped with higher rate springs and also a rear stabilizer bar and then retuned shock absorbers that help lower friction. All this is designed to improve the Highlander's handling agility and also keep its ride comfort of smooth, quiet and comfortable that we've all come to know and love. Ha! Along the sides, you're gonna see exclusive rocker panels and then black roof rails, side mirror caps, and then window molding as well. Front grille is gonna be designed. We've seen it before. You're gonna see more of a honeycomb type design in the top. And then you'll see horizontal slat grille on the lower portion of the front. It's also going to have the light strip daytime running lights. It's gonna be sweet, man. This is sporty and in fact, it's extra sporty edition, XSE baby. And then the back end for the first time ever, ever, ever getting back together. No, actually Toyota's getting back together with the exposed dual exhaust and it's gonna be in Chrome. XSE is gonna be looking fly, folks. Not all information is known, but I'm sitting in a black style interior. What we're gonna see is I think the option to have two different interior color choices. One of them you may have seen pictures of. It's gonna be the cockpit red interior with black accents. Looks pretty sweet. We've seen it on other sported up models like the TRDs and things like that. Now you can also, I believe, get it in black interior. As a matter of fact, black interior may be the default with the option to add in the cockpit red. Not sure how that's gonna work quite yet. Other highlights I think we can see along the inside, it's gonna have the available JBL sound system, which will give you 11 speakers, a 1200 watt amplifier, subwoofer. It's also going to have several USB ports, five of them in fact. It'll play Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Amazon Alexa. Also playing on XSE having ambient lighting inside and then also a carbon fiber dash accent. Not sure of pricing yet, hasn't been released. Not sure of release date, although tentatively this is planned for fall of this year. Now, Toyota is going to position this car between the XLE and the limited trim levels, kind of where we saw the SE version in previous years. And then they expect about 12% of all Highlanders 
produced and sold are going to be the XSE version. So it kind of carves out that niche of a little bit more than one out of every, say, 10 people may be interested in an XSE. Are you one of them? Is it you? Thank you everyone so much for watching. What do you think of the XSE? Are you excited about the specs? Are you excited about the look? What are we talking about here? Tell me in the comment section what you are most looking forward to. I just wanna see it. I just wanna drive it. I guess I gotta wait till fall. Don't know about the world events going on right now. It could be a little bit later. Please subscribe to the Toyota Jeff YouTube channel. You would be doing a huge favor and you would enjoy it, I think, if you also bookmark my Toyota column on torquenews.com slash Toyota. You'll see a lot of information about Highlanders, a lot of information about every kind of Toyota. I'm a writer. Da, 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 da. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate y'all. See you next time. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go back to my room so we can learn about Highlanders and we can research all night. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go back to my room. We can do it all night. We can make it feel right.